up. Huh, lemon! Between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles, I need to bake for a peach trifle. I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six! Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on. The Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a Sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor and... Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush layering in the peaches and cream. That takes... finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, Honeydew Sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the Cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry! That metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. Extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. <laughs> What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Ooh, still got it. Pupcake? No! Here, boy! Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm assuming this issue of the Terrific Tales of Tangerine Smash is yours and not Pupcake's? It's Pupcake's <laughs> new game. Take my favorite stuff to get chased. Not a fan. What are you two doing? Custard is just helping me train with my lucky spoon by hurling dough at my head when I'm not looking. You country berries do weird stuff with your pets. What? This spoon is lucky. It's been passed down in my family from baker to baker to me. The extraordinary berry would not be as successful without it. You don't believe that, do you? Well, why wouldn't I? Shortcakes. Berries like us are successful because we work hard, not because of a silly old spoon. What's so silly about believing a spoon is magical and lucky and looking out for you and wants the best and loves you for who you are? 
Really? Listen, Shortcake. <gasps> My spoon! I need it! Cupcake! No! We'll get your normal not lucky spoon back. You don't know it's not lucky. The more I see, things work for me. I know good luck helped me through. My life is great, just trusting fate. I'm making all my dreams come true. That's not what I see, this is how it should be. Hard work's the very best guarantee. Luck's not a plan and fate not a fan. My dreams come true because of me. But there's more than one way to make all of our dreams come true. So much more than one way. Yeah, there's more than one way to do what we want to do. There's more, more than one way. We're champions. We're saving our own day. No matter how you slice it, there's more than one way. We're champions. We're saving our own day. Keep going till you make it. There's more than one way. There's me and you. Best friends, it's true. Although we do things differently. Hey, that's OK. We do it our own way. It's clearly working, we agree. Shortcake, Kiki Key Lime, host of Bite of the City. I know! Yay! You remember me? Sure! The hardworking berry with the fab truck at the Berry Works. Yes, hardworking. Exactly. I was actually just thinking about where to shoot our next episode. What about the Berry Works? Yes! Sorry, yes! Wow, that'd be great. I think so too. Gotta run. Catch you later. Bye, I love you! Lucky I ran into you. Oh, yeah, it sure was. Lucky. That's just a coincidence. Uh, excuse me. We're looking for extras for the new Tangerine Smash movie. Either of you Tangerine Smash fans? <gasps> me! I love Tangerine Smash! You were saying? No way. Everything is going fantastic at Berry Works. Huckleberry Pie is fitting right in, and even bread pudding is cooled off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, here, let me hear it. What's wrong with the little music? It's a lot of music everywhere. I can't escape it. Just stay by your... You don't have a cart. Nope. I go where the song takes me. <laughs> Thing is, all Berry Works vendors need carts. No cart? No you. Huh. No sad strumming without a cart. Red pudding is correct. Every berry working needs a cart. <gasps> That's it! Huck can just work out one of our carts. It's a total win-win. Huck gets to stay, we get the help. Three blue blasts, two green meanies, one orange deluxe. Got that, Huck? Taking orders. I need a large lemon lime barrier blaster. Extra syrup, half ice. You need a small? Large. Extra syrup, half syrup. Half a berry. Half ice. Uh, got it. Right, right, uh, Blast the syrup. No! <laughs> uh, Maybe help lemon instead? Wrench. Uh. 
No, no, no. Where did the chicken come from? Oh. Inspire us with creative new flavors. Oh, close your eyes. What do you see? I see vanilla. Uh, anything else? Vanilla ice cream. Maybe something more daring? Vanilla ice cream in a cone. <laughs> Mind blown. Your energy is simple. You should share it with the world. Just not here. Okay, let's see how you do baking orders. The oven gets hot quickly, so... Make sure you use oven mitts. And... I think the mitts are right hot. What is happening? Nothing. It's good that music's my passion. I'm no good at anything else. I'm really, really sorry, Huck. No tears, my song will never end Because I have you, my awesome friends Who love my art, with or without a cart <gasps> That's it! Instead of Huck working in our carts, we needed to help him get one of his own. The Huckleberry Pie Variuki Cart! You all did this for me? Wow. Hey, why are you still here? I told you, no cart. No way! And there is nothing that can change... Look, Brad, the girls made me my very own Barioke music cart. Barioke? Berry, berry, so contrary. Shake it up, pick it up, pick it me if I make it up, or you're gonna whisk me away. It's fitting we're here at the Cuban Time Museum of Modern Art. Let's see how our bakers did. I love... Fight of the city. Kiki Key Lime goes all over Big Apple City finding the best bakers. Could there be a more perfect show for me? As these cupcakes show, today's contestants proved a great baker needs to be a great artist as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you so get me, Kiki. Do you have what it takes to be the very best in baking? Oh, I do. Then I can't wait to come to your neighborhood and take a bite of the city. <sighs> Hello? Is there a baker in there? Yes, Kiki Key Lime. There really is. Behind you, actually. <gasps> I'm just imagining this and you're there. And it's just you're my favorite person. And I love you lots. <laughs> I get that a lot. Hi, I'm in a rush to my next shoot, but I do need a quick bite. What have you got? Okay, okay, I can do this. I can totally do this. Don't freak out. Just take a deep breath. <gasps> Today, I am serving ladyfingers. My cranberry jam taught me how to... Oh, I love ladyfingers. But I'm wondering if you could add some organic hand-pressed key lime juice. And you know what I love? A hint of Costa Rican coffee where the beans have been sung to. They just have that extra oomph, you know? Also, could you throw on just a dollop of mascarpone cheese? If you can't, it's totally fine, but if you can, that would be more fine. Just need to grab some ingredients. It should take me. I have two minutes and 36 seconds. Custard, you're in charge. Orange, tell me you have key limes, please. Nope, just regular limes today. Can you juice it for me? Sure thing. Hand juice it, please. Okay. Mm You're the best. I owe you a cake. Sometimes it's easier not to ask. Lemon, lime. Do you have Costa Rican beans that have been sung to? Why would I sing to coffee beans? There's no time for crazy questions. Seriously, who sings to beans? Everybody knows you read to them. Um. It was the best of beans. It was the worst of beans. No time! Lemon beans! Oh, hot music! The best things in life! That'll do it! I owe you all five! That was weird, right? Blueberries! No need. The universe has spoken. Mascarpone ice cream awaits. But how did you... Shh. You must go. I owe you some cookies. <laughs> Lucky Spoon, don't fail me now. Deacon 
constructed tiramisu. Delicious! That hit the spot. Extraordinary berry, huh? I'll remember that. Bye! Did you hear that, Custard? She'll remember that we did it! Now we can just relax and bask in the glow of this fantastic moment. Ahem. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Pies. That something is pies. Right after I bake those thank you desserts. <laughs> <laughs> This is for smoothest smoothie, most protein-packed smoothie, ooh, tootiest, fruitiest smoothie. Every berry cleared up pretty quickly for that one. Woo! Woo! Wow, Orange, that is a lot of trophies. But not all of them. I've won every trophy at the Splendidly Scrumptious Smoothie Competition except one. Most creative smoothie. Huh. How come? I like structure, rules, goals. Creativity is just making stuff up. How can you win at that? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Orange needs a crash course in creativity. I mean, if only we knew the perfect berry to help her out. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> uh. You sure about this, Shortcakes? Blueberry's the most creative berry we know. She can totally teach you. Right, Blueberry? The first rule of creativity is... There are no rules! <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, just give her a chance. Yeah, give her a chance. <laughs> are we talking about... Meet the fruit. Feel the fruit. Be the fruit. None of this makes any sense. That's kind of pretty. You're getting it. <laughs> 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 you really did help bring out Orange's creative side. Orange's inner artist could always sing. I just turned up the volume. Turn it up. Berries, stop your blending. <laughs> Great job, Orange. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> what do we think? Does his face say, wow, this is so creative? Well... Uh, oh, it tastes like juicy socks. Maybe? It's okay, Orange. Most artists don't get the respect they deserve until they're dead. <clears throat> Before we declare a winner, we have an announcement. The judges decided to create an entirely new category for one of this year's more unique entries. So, the award for Worst Smoothie goes to... Orange Blossom! <gasps> worst Smoothie? Created just for me? This is way better than most creative! My own category! Who's the best at being the worst? This very right here! I guess that's the thing about creativity. It's not about being the best. But I am the best at being the worst! It's about being you. Exactly! Art is a journey. Just go with it. world-famous Choco Mint Pie! I just need to clip some leaves from my mint on the roof. Ah! How did this happen? Yeah, that mint grew fast. 
If it isn't carefully tended to, it can run over anything in its path. I can take care of that easy peasy. With what, clippers? Uh, something like that. <laughs> the Incinerate 5000. I'll go get it. Have you seen Lemon use that thing? Wait up, Lemon. Let me help you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see this ending well. There are less destructive ways to take care of an overgrown plant. Clint would never forgive himself if anything happened to his friends. Clint, who's Clint? The mint. You know I speak plant. I think I speak for all plants when I say plants can't speak. According to Farmer Fig's latest guide to gardening, the first thing we need to do is trim the vines. Wait! You can't cut his vines now! Clint's playing rock, paper, scissors. Great move. Another W for the Clintster. <laughs> yes, Gerald, I know a piece of paper wouldn't beat a rock in real life. This guy. Farmer Fig says spraying a solution of salt, soap, and vinegar will tame unwanted plant growth. Clint, old chum, I'm here for you. Tell this berry what we should do. Whoa, you're trying to make Clint sad. Soap, salt, and vinegar smells real bad. Mm. Clint says I should go on tour. Ah, oh, what a charmer. We'll never get this done if Blueberry shoots down every idea. Then maybe ask her what she thinks. She thinks she speaks plant. We don't always need to agree with our friends. Just listen to them. Blueberry, what do you think we should do? It's not about me. Let's ask Clint. Just so you know, Farmer Fig says that if we dig the mint roots up, we can... Move, move it into, into its, its own, own pot! pot. <gasps> Did you just agree with Farmer Fig? No. Clint agreed with Farmer Fig. He also said he'd be most comfortable if you did the digging line. He trusts you. You're really smart. Clint. Bye, Clint! I still don't believe that plants can talk. But it was nice of you to say it was smart. Thank you, Clint. <gasps> oh. And done. Here you go. Thanks, Thanks strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> All right, it's incinerate time! <laughs> Actually, blueberry and lime work together to take care of the mint. But I saved you some pie. Let's do this! Or pull! <laughs> oh, I meant for you to eat that. I love the smell of burnt pie in the morning. Anybody else done? Jen Boss Lacrim is coming! She is the food critic for the Big Apple City Galette. A review from her can make or break a berry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? <laughs> Cake pops, because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfoglia tele between my legs. See what I did there? Sfoglia tele? Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Genoise, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well then, thanks. Okay, then I'm going to keep an eye out for Genoise. <gasps> uh-huh! That short buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she... 
Right. And her hideous, wide-brimmed hats. Whoa. Yeah, that is not how I pictured Jen was at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career-ending critical commentary. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... Hello there. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar. I'm... I know who you are. <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets, Cake Pop. I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma. I'll get the real Genoise La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is. Head sugar cake my day. <laughs> oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your cranberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. Genoise La Creme? <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out-of-town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up. Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> There, there. <laughs> Another great day! I love our jobs! I'm pumped! Who else is pumped? Oh, I'm pooped. By the time I close up, I have no energy left. You need energy? You ask this berry. You, me, tomorrow morning. It's gonna be epic! Do I have a choice? Nope. It's what friends are for. See you bright and early. Um, what did I agree to? I'm all about being the best me I can be. And now I can help Shortcakes be the best she, she can be. What are Berry Besties for? Ah! Ah! Where's the butters and croissants? Morning, Shortcakes! It's 4 a.m., which means it's... Time to sleep four more hours. Let's go, go, go! Get dressed and get a move on! Ah! Ah! This was a mistake. I should have... Ah! this? Time to work out. So, so let me just get this straight. I tell you I'm exhausted, and your solution is more exhaustion? Huh, funny. Let's go. Shortcakes? Oh. I give up. I still have no energy and it's been what, days? Weeks? 20 minutes. What? Orange, thanks for the offer, but exercise is clearly your thing. And I think we can both agree that it is definitely not my thing. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Friends are supposed to do things they like together, but she hates working out and I love it. I love fitness the way she loves baking. Oh. Ah! Orange? 
bitch. Why? Come on. I got you. Trust me? Do I have a choice? Huh? What is all this? You'll see. Working out is not your thing, but fitness is important. And since your thing is baking, we're gonna get you stronger doing what you do best. Go! Another! Again! Push it! You got it! Just leave her alone. She'll wind down eventually. All right, somebody get me a pad of paper. Let's make a list of workouts for every berry. It's spring cleaning day. A day for berries who are organized, precise, who love making lists. All right, berries. It's not going to be easy, but I've strategized a path to victory. Your assignments. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, oh. Before the day is done, the Fairy Works is going to shine. And when we're finished, I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> surprise? Whee! You're kind of intense about cleaning, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go mop the high line. Woohoo! Well, cleaning is important, and who doesn't love a surprise? Whoa! This will be fun. This is not fun. We are never going to finish. Never fear, berries. With my Dream Queen 3000, we'll be enjoying that surprise in no time. <laughs> or not. We are not getting done today. Lime will be pretty disappointed if this place doesn't look amazing. Plus, no surprise. <sighs> if only we had an old abandoned office that Noberry used where we could stuff everything to deal with later. Then the berry works would be clean, the lime would be happy, and we would get our surprise. Why are you all looking at me? <gasps> Can you see my aura? What color is it? We can stick everything here in J. Quincy Cupcake's old office. I don't know. We'll still do everything Lime asked. We'll just do it later. Oh, Jay Quincy's ghost says that sounds like a delicious plan. He said that? Uh, maybe we should start moving stuff? Uh. Whoa! You're even better cleaners than I thought! Ready for your surprise? <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> Huh? Um, Lime, where are we going? This is going to be the best surprise ever! Lime! Oh. Wait! No! Oh, ah! This is how you cleaned up? <laughs> Red Pudding said if we cleaned out Jay Quincy's office, we could make it our own special hangout spot. Surprise! But I guess you all found another use for it. Wait, Lime! Oh, I feel awful. What should we do? What we should have done in the first place. Come on, berries. Hop! No, we messed up and feel awful that we ruined your surprise. So to say we're sorry, we have
have a surprise for you! Open your eyes! Berries put everything. The best thing about living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool, and I am going to win. Let's it up! Every, Every berry, berry touches, touches the golden the berry. berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. inside of this anyway. Oh, an endless supply of books. <laughs> I'm gonna need more bookmarks. Books? No way. It's a Slicer ZX Kiwisaki dirt bike. Sorry, there is no way a Kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries. Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention, the machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once, then disappear. Forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> No, no, no. Chocolate chips? No! Sprinkle chips. Woohoo! <laughs> More coconut flakes with a pinch of. Uh, strawberry? Aw, fiddle faddle! Ha ha! No! Aw, so I guess that means blueberries the winner? Huh? This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to... The MC! Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. Let's see what's inside. It's a gift card to Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice. A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? It's Sweetie Pie's Day. It's Sweetie Pie's Day! AKA the sweetest holiday, AKA the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them! AKA love is in the air. 
A meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. Tranquil and tasty. Ooh, I love you, Budge's Blueberry. A chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Aw, thanks, Shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Just because your name is... <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you! Woo! To Coco Bean or not to Coco Bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love? Ooh, feelings. Handwritten cards. Mm -hmm. Ooh, writing about feelings. And hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon? Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate bolt? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing Berry Berry Oven. So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's Day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Meister 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves it. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. Group hug, everybody! Oh, I love you so much! Hurt. This may be the best cupcake recipe in the history of the universe! It's just missing one super special ingredient. <laughs> right, Lucky Spoon? Right you are, Strawberry. And that ingredient is... I dreamed the very best cupcake recipe. It had this perfect ingredient. It was, um, it, it, wa it, it was the, hold on, I know this, it, no, oh, I can't remember what it is. Why can't I remember what it is? Come on, strawberry, it can't be that far. Think, think, think. Uh, shortcakes, you okay? No, I came up with the cupcake recipe of my dreams, in my dreams. But I can't remember the last ingredient. Ooh, I've got just the thing. My Dream Grubber 3000. This baby uses cosmic waves to absorb all of your nighty nighttime thoughts. <laughs> kind of fair. <laughs> eh, it's still in beta testing. This is just like issue 37 of Terrific Tales of Tangerine Smash. Tangerine Smash was trapped in 
the dream world by her arch enemy, Night Mangle, and couldn't remember how to escape. <gasps> Just like me. How did she remember? Her sidekick, Guava Girl's utility belt, gets them out of any jam. Well, a utility belt isn't gonna help with this mental jam. Ow! Ow! Lemon! I'm not wearing the helmet! Why am I getting shocked? Huh, is that a bug? Or a feature? A mystery requires a detective skills. Inspector Sherbet Cones always retraces his steps. What did you do yesterday? I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. I woke up, cleaned my room. <coughs> then I had breakfast. I think it was toast with jam. Ow! Lemon! Oh, this thing is stronger than I thought. What else did you do? Typical day. Hmm. I can help you out. You can? Sure. Follow me. To remember your dream, you need sleep. To sleep, you need to be zen. To be zen, you need to meditate. Uh, uh, um, Strawberry, what are you doing? Seeing if any ingredients jog my memory. Chocolate, peanut butter, jam. Ow! Bean grabber, more like shock maker. Shock maker, huh? You don't happen to have a patent on that, do you? My friends were trying, but they were not helping. Seriously, not helping. If only my lucky spoon could talk, then. Ah! Top press buns! If I get one more. Wait a second. Gonna help with this mental jam. <laughs> jam. Jam! Ow! Jam! Ow! That's the ingredient! The shocks were from J-A-M! Yes! Lemon's machine worked! Oh, my friends helped after all. Well, they're gonna be the first ones to taste my dream recipe. Ow! Here you go. Try it. Oh, you're gonna love it. So, what do you think? Now that's what I call baking it happen. Good job, Strawberry. Chocolate and rum raisin? Been done. Pineapple and grass. Too sour. Coming up with unique ice cream flavors isn't easy. You have to clear your mind and let the universe guide you to something truly tastastic. Caramel and relish. <laughs> Some days the universe isn't very helpful. Hmm, I'll try this and this and this. Too many flavors. So cold. Rain is. Okay, Blueberry, I've got a butter cake that needs a little something extra. And that something extra is ice cream! I mean, it's a vanilla butter cake, and the only ice cream flavor I can think of to go with it is vanilla. But I mean, come on! Vanilla on vanilla is just so obvious. And I don't want to be obvious, so I do not want vanilla. What flavor do I want? You're the expert, what should I do? Vanilla. Right. That's what I don't want. <laughs> Blueberry, are you okay? <gasps> Cheesecake! Blueberry's frozen! No, not just frozen! She's got brain freeze! Why didn't you tell me? Blueberry is usually so creative, she comes up with flavors no berry would think of. But not if she's got brain freeze. I have got to unfreeze her so she can get back to brainstorming brilliant ice cream for me. I mean herself.
day. This campfire is our last chance to thaw her out. At least we can snack while we wait. Marshmallow and cheese. Yeesh! <laughs> that is an interesting combo. I mean, Blueberry would love it if she ever snaps out of this whole frozen thing. If the campfire doesn't work, I'm not uh -huh. sure what we'll do. Bye -bye. Maybe some sort of sauna or... Oh, maybe some hot peppers. Yeah, that could... Ow! Oh, hold the scone! It's not about warming up her body. It's about warming up her creativity. With something weird, wacky. <gasps> Sweet, cheesy, smoky combo should do the trick. Cheesecake, why didn't you think of this? Humph. Good tapioca, I love it! Marshmallows, cheese, and smoke! The perfect pairing of sweet and savory. I'll call it Camembert Campfire Crunch. Vanilla. No! Hot cross buns! This is horrible! What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out. Hot pies. Only eat when cool. But now, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh. I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. <clears throat> also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> well, this cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it, Ferret? Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. I checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on- Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? Not, not even a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Yeah, uh -huh. totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, fairies, on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Pies do taste better this way. Another mystery solved. No, 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 I can't be sick. There's no time. I need 500 cupcakes for Sweetie Pie Preschool's annual bake sale, baked and ready by 5 o'clock today. Oh. Sorry. Wow, you look terrible. You should really go rest. I can't. I need to get these cupcakes done. It's for the kids. <gasps> How about we help with the baking? Every berry needs some berries sometimes, shortcakes. I don't know if that's the best. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> oh. Okay, fine. Orange, you're gonna weigh out the dry ingredients here. Lemon, you stand here and combine the wet ingredients, and then we're gonna pass it to Blueberry. Wow, you really captured my aura. Uh, don't worry, we got this. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go rest at the clubhouse. Text me if you need anything. And don't forget, an extra large egg is better than a regular large egg. All right, girls, let's make our sweet, but very easily stressed out, friend proud. Let's yeah. do this. <gasps> it's like looking in a mirror. Blueberry, focus. Did you hear that? It said my name. Hmm, if I use the best methods from each book, I'll make perfect cupcakes. Butter must be super cold, got it? <gasps> huh, wait, this says room temperature butter is best. No recipes, no rules. Just me and Egg Sheeran. Vibing. Five cups of sugar? That's unhealthy. How about no cups of sugar? <gasps> and maybe some powdered veggies to add some nutrients. <clears throat> Yum. So healthy. Thanks, Custard, but I am not tired, so. Never leave home without my super duper piping bag 3000. <sighs> I feel so much better, Custard. You know what? It is so nice to have friends who can be there for you and keep you calm, keep you relaxed, keep you freaking out! What did you do? I'm calling it the unbearable icing of being. Ugh. I never made it past the butter. Oh no, I have to deliver 500 cupcakes uh, now, and nothing is done! Sorry, Shortcakes. We tried, but we're just not the bakers you are. But how did this happen? You each did something totally different. You did whatever you wanted without any kind of... Wait a minute. That's it? You guys are geniuses! We are. Is she still hallucinating? never would have come up with the idea if you all hadn't messed up so badly. Thank you for being such terrible bakers. And for helping when I needed it. Anytime. <gasps> Lemon, no! <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs>